I rise to adjourn in the memory of uh, uh, an activist, community leader, and uh, someone that uh, Robbie and I were very proud to call our friend, Barbara Edelston Yaroslavsky. The, the truth of the matter is that as special a relationship Robbie and I felt that we had with Barbara, um, she was a friend to everyone she met, and nearly everyone who knew her felt that they had that same very special bond with her. This was demonstrated by the outpouring of love and sentiment from many hundreds of people who attended her memorial and burial just a couple of weeks ago. Barbara was able to connect with people in a personal way to share her insights, her intelligence, her kind heart, and her passion for justice and humanity. She was a lifelong Angelino who divided, devoted her life to serving her city, her community, and really um, just people, everyone who needed help. Barbara was there for, her, for them. Over the course of her life, Barbara was an active volunteer and member of many, many nonprofit agencies, statewide boards, uh, including the California Medical Board, where she was the first non-physician to serve as its president. Uh, she was also a member of, had been a member of the California Board of Registered Nursing and the Los Angeles Commission on Communities and Family Services. Barbara was especially active and esteemed in Los Angeles' Jewish community. She served on several boards at the Jewish Federation of Greater Los Angeles, including the Board of Jewish Education and the Jewish Public Affairs Committee. She passed away on December 26, 2018, uh, after battling a rare West Nile virus infection. As many of you knew, uh, she was the wife of former Los Angeles County Supervisor and City Council member, Zev Yaroslavsky. They had met at the Los Angeles Hebrew High School where he had been a hall monitor. It's kind of hard to imagine Zev as a hall monitor, um, or maybe not so hard. Um, uh, uh, but she was working at the front desk at that time of the American Jewish University, just the very beginning of a lifetime of service for both of them. Um, and I think that was one of the, the bonds that they shared uh, uh, before and after they were married in 1971. Over the course of her life, Barbara exemplified the values of community service and engagement that we all strive for. And through her service, she improved the lives of countless people, not only those in Los Angeles, but across the state and beyond. She is survived by her husband, Zev, son David, daughter Mina, four grandchildren, her brother and sister, and other family members, and of course, countless friends who will never forget her. And I ask that we adjourn in her memory. Thank you, Mr. Bloom. Assembly Member Gabriel, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, I also rise today to ask that we adjourn in memory of Barbara Yaroslavsky of Los Angeles. I want to associate myself with the beautiful comments and reflections of our colleague from Santa Monica. And as was mentioned by him and by so many others at her very moving uh, memorial service, Barbara Yaroslavsky's life was built around service to others. Government service, community service, philanthropic work, and the incredible love and devotion and energy that she devoted to her family, to her friends, and really to the most vulnerable members of our community. And so I think it's appropriate also to note that just a few days after Barbara passed, her son David was appointed by Governor Brown to Los Angeles Superior Court. And I know that she would been, have been incredibly proud of that accomplishment, but particularly proud to see that her family was continuing to carry on her real legacy of service and commitment to community and helping those in need. And so Barbara Yaroslavsky will be deeply missed, but I know, as our colleague from Santa Monica reflected, her memory really will be a blessing too to her family and to our larger community. And I respectfully request that we adjourn in her memory.